you've seen me rant and rave about these and how they cancel out my dark circles so nicely, but what do you do when they're not available at your Dollar Tree? We're gonna run an experiment because most Dollar Trees definitely have these concealers. So here's the yellow and here's the peach. So what exactly happens when you mix them with a face primer? Look at that, a face primer that can be found at Dollar Tree. This is literally an experiment. I have no idea how this is gonna work out. Of course I hope that it works out for you, but I hope it works out for me too, because it's a bomb idea. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna take a little bit of primer. I'm gonna mix it. Ooh, and now it's definitely a more liquidy consistency rather than cream. And let's just see what happens, especially if you are the type that, you know, you're in your 30s, starting to develop some fine lines. What's going on here? This, this, I mean, it has some correction, but this is not going the way that I had hoped. I think I had used too much of the primer. It's like you need the tiniest bit because the peach went on just fine. So let's, let's try the yellow again. Okay, so that seemed to work out, but the yellow still was very resistant and was like, I'm not gonna. So let's see how they look with concealer on top. So I put concealer on and I powdered and like, that's pretty awesome. So if you use a color correcting concealer and then put concealer on top and you're finding that your under eyes are just looking really, really dry because there's so much concealer on them, why not try your own color correcting primer because it thins out the formula and it makes it really smooth. So if you can't get a hold of these bad boys, it's worth a try.